One, again, we begin tonight with breaking news. Right now, a massive blaze has been brought under control. That's what we're hearing after destroying a Chugiak apartment complex and an adjoining bus barn. Located on what used to be the historic Moosehorn gas station off the Old Glen Highway directly across from the Chugiak fire station. CBS 11 News has been on the scene all night long, and Matthew Simon has the latest right now live from our newsroom. Matthew. And Reagan, what we first want to start with, folks, is this is going to have a huge impact on school bus service. Anchorage School District officials tell us there will be no school bus service to Chugiak, Eagle River, and that affects Fort Richardson. So getting to school tomorrow is important because remember, folks, this is final exam week. Now, thankfully, with the fire, there's been no one hurt, but this fire, which would be accurate at one point to describe as an inferno, erupted shortly after 6 o'clock. Tonight, eight apartments have completely burned to the ground, leaving some of our neighbors homeless on this brutally cold night. At this point, uh, there are eight families that don't have a bed tonight. That translates into about 12 adults, including a six-month-old baby. One of the homeless families is Isaac Goddard and his brother Jacob. I mean, it just started going up in a blaze, and as soon as I saw that, and the house was on fire, went upstairs, started getting everybody out and all the animals out. Just like the Goddards, witnesses tell fire officials this blaze spreads fast to the attic. Uh, there was a number of apartments that were first uh, first involved in this fire, and then the fire spread to the bus barn area also, right adjacent behind us. Even though it's right across from the Chugiak Volunteer Fire Station, there are no fire hydrants in the area. 15 units from Eagle River, East Anchorage, Elmendorf, Fort Rich, and the Matsu Valley assist. But the cold weather proved to be a wicked enemy, as all these firefighters had to truck in water from Chugiak High School. To get this large a structure, it's difficult to supply enough water to a large aerial apparatus as it pump up to 1,500, 2,000 gallons per minute. It takes a lot of water supply to get something like this under control. Now, right before Christmas, eight families must start over. It's a building. They, everybody got out safe. All the pets got out safe. It's a building. For all the families, you know, that lived here, you know, we're all going to be pretty much struggling, but, you know, it's, it's going to be hard. And, I mean, helping hand doesn't hurt. Right now, we do not know the cause of this fire yet or how much damage it will leave behind. Many of you know the Moosehorn Lodge area dates back to the 1940s before there was a main highway, so this really is a huge community loss tonight. Again, there will be no Eagle River Chugiak bus service tomorrow, and that affects high school students on Fort Rich also. We'll keep you updated as we learn the latest information. Live now in the newsroom, Matthew Slum and CBS 11 News. And we wanted to let you know that the Red Cross is on scene helping those families tonight. They are asking for any donations to help the 10 adults and the 6-month-old child. If you would like to help, just log on to their website at alaska.redcross.org. Well, new since 6 tonight, it's the post